Hey there, everybody. Welcome to my movie vlog. My name is John Camby, and this is the Movie News Feed, where in just a couple of minutes, we run down all the important stuff going on in the world of movies that movie fans need to know. First up, the new Dwayne The Rock Johnson film, Rampage. Now, of course, yesterday, which you can see right here, the first poster of the new film came out, and now today, the first official trailer dropped online. Now, I'm like the rest of you. When I first heard they were going to do a movie based on the Rampage video game, I thought, how stupid can you get? And guess what? This trailer is stupid, but feels like it's an incredible amount of fun all at the same time. Like it embraces the cheesiness while trying to sell the idea like, yeah, there's a giant ape and a, there's a giant wolf and there's a giant crocodile running rampant. Now, on top of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you also got Jeffrey Dean Morgan in the film. Of course, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is Negan in The Walking Dead currently. But to me, he'll always be John Winchester, Sam and Dean's dad in Supernatural. You've also got Joe Manganiello in this who looks as badass as ever. And for those of you wondering what on earth are they going to make this movie even about, here's the synopsis. Dwayne Johnson's character shares an unshakable bond with George, the extraordinarily intelligent gorilla who has been in his care since birth. But a rogue genetic experiment gone awry transforms this gentle ape into a raging monster. As these newly created monsters tear across North America, destroying everything in their path, Johnson teams with a discredited genetic engineer to secure an antidote, fighting his way through an ever-changing battlefield, not only to halt a global catastrophe, but to save the fearsome creature that was once his friend. Aww. 24 hours ago, I honestly couldn't care less about this movie, and this trailer makes me want to see it. Up next, the day is finally here. Justice League, the highly anticipated DC Warner Brothers film, makes its way into theaters across North America tonight. Right now, the movie has the critic community kind of split. About four out of every 10 critics seem to like the film. About six out of every 10 seem to not to like it. What is the bigger concern right now, though, to Warner Brothers is that as of right now, the film is tracking to open at $110 million. If it actually does come in at that, it would be a significant step down from Batman versus Superman, which opened to $166 million on its opening weekend, that's a $56 million drop. Especially coming off the big worldwide success of Wonder Woman, they were kind of hoping to ride that momentum for Justice League, but who knows? We have seen some examples in the past of tracking numbers be wrong. Maybe it can come in north of that. Next up, for those of you who are fans of the whole Harry Potter world and Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, the first official picture of the cast of the new film has been released. On top of that, we now know the title of Fantastic Beasts 2. It is officially Fantastic Beasts the Crimes of Grindelwald. The second film in the Harry Potter prequel franchise will be released on November 16th, 2018. David Yates, who directed Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and the final four Harry Potter installments, is returning to helm the second film in the series from a script by Harry Potter creator J.K. Rowling. The spin-off franchise will consist of five films. One of the great things about this picture, too, is that we get our first really good look at Jude Law, of course, as Albus Dumbledore. And we get a good shot there of the Flash, too. There's Ezra Miller. But I think Jude Law looks fantastic. It'll be really interesting to see what kind of incarnation of a younger Dumbledore that they try to bring to the screen for this movie. Next up, the incredibly busy man, James Franco, who's got his new film, The Disaster Artist, opening in theaters here shortly, apparently has entered into negotiations with Fox to star in their new X-Men university kind of film, Multiple Man. According to the report, the studio is also in talks with Wonder Woman writer Alan Heimberg to pen the script. It's negotiating with Simon Kimberg and his genre films to produce with Franco through his Ramona films with brother Dave Franco and Vince Jolivet. Now, on the surface, this does sound incredibly strange, but right now, Fox really seems to be in that zone where they're willing to roll the dice and take some really strange risks. Who would have thought a gritty, western, R-rated Logan film could ever happen? Who would have thought an R-rated Deadpool could happen? Who could have thought you would take this X-Men universe film and the New Mutants kind of make a genre horror film out of it? They seem to really want to be stretching their boundaries right now, and this could be the next piece of that puzzle. Next up, it looks like that Christopher Nolan masterpiece, Dunkirk, is going to be getting an encore performance in theaters just in time for an award season push. According to the reports, the film is going to hit theaters again on a limited scale on December 1st and then expand even more in 2018. Here's what it has to say. On December 1st, the World War II epic will be shown in New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, San Francisco, Boston, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Dallas, Atlanta, and Toronto. On January 24th, the day after the Academy Award nominations are announced, the film's re-release will expand to include more than 250 additional locations. With that many locations, it almost guarantees that if you want to see Dunkirk again, it will probably be playing in a theater remotely near you. I know I'm going to go watch it again on the big screen. And finally, it looks like the comic book series Danger Girl may be making its way not only to a full-length feature film, but also some television properties. According to the report, Constantine Films has picked up the rights and will produce film and television properties with Bolt 
Pulp Pictures and Adrian Iscaria's Prime Universe Films. For those of you who don't know much about Danger Girl, and I'm sure there's many of you, here's a quick synopsis. Danger Girl is an American comic book series created by J. Scott Campbell and Andy Hartnell. The comic stars a group of female secret agents who engage in adventures in the vein of Charlie's Angels, James Bond, and Indiana Jones. They are led by a former British Secret Service agent named Deuce. No official word yet on when the companies are looking to put Danger Girl either on the big screen or the small screen. We'll let you know as soon as we find out more. And that will do it for today's installment of the Movie News Feed. Listen, guys, if you have any thoughts or opinions on any or all the topics we discussed here today, jump down to the comments section and leave me your thoughts while you're here. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow me on social media simply at John Campia. That'll do it for me for now, guys. Thanks a lot for joining me, and until the next video, bye-bye.